I'm Stuart King, Senior Product Manager at Carbon. With this feature, you can quickly and easily add any signature task to any section on a work item in Carbon. So let's add that e signature task to our work item. You can do this by finding the drop down next to the Add Task button in the section heading on any work item. And then we'll give it a name, in this case, Annual Services Review. Once we've done that, we can click into the task and we'll see we've got to prepare documents for e-signatures button. Clicking on that opens up the process where we can set up our signature. The first thing we need to do is upload a file, so I'll drag and drop a file into the window. Once we've uploaded the file, we can move on to the next step, which is adding recipients. So let's add our first recipient. I'm going to search for Annie Approver and select her. And in this case I'm only going to add one signatory, though you can add multiple and even people who will just be CC'd in on the request. Moving on to the next step, this is where we process the file and get ready to add our field placements. Right, that's all loaded, so we can get started. You can see that I've added some signature fields to the bottom of this document, along with some details of who's going to sign it. So the first thing I'm going to add is that signature field, and I'll just drag and drop that into the document. And I can uh, resize it a bit if I need to. I can also assign this to uh, Annie, whose email address is there. And the next thing I'm going to do is add a date box as well. What I'm going to do with that date box is have a quick look at the settings, and I'll actually uh, autofill this with the signing date so that Annie doesn't have to do anything there. I can also add checkboxes, initials, uh, and text fields. In this case, I don't need to, uh, but they are all options for you to use. Right, let's head on over to the next step. If you've used our approvals functionality, this will be quite familiar. This is where you can select who the email will come from, uh, which has the request to sign, uh, along with editing the email message. So we'll change this and we'll say um, services amendment. Uh, we'll also set the, the due date to be a little further out in the future. This, I think, date was based on the due date of the work item, uh, but we can move it up to 60 days in the future. That all looks good to me. Let's hit send. So now this task has changed a little bit. We can no longer edit the documents and you can see the status has changed. Uh, the package has been sent to Annie and we're, the status is now waiting. So if we look at view documents, we can see that Annie the approver is a signer and we're awaiting her signature. The final version of that signed PDF will be available once all of the recipients have signed. Uh, so let's go and have a look at what the client experience looks like. If I jump over to Gmail, you can see I've got this email and in there, there's a button to jump into the review and signing process and a breakdown of the document or documents that are attached to the signing request. So if we pop over to the next tab, we can see that we've got the annual services review. Uh, that Stuart has requested that you sign this by the 26th of September. This was one I set up earlier. And we can jump straight into the approval signing step. In this case, I'm not logged into Carbon, so this is the, the experience a customer who doesn't have a client portal account or who's not logged into the client portal will get. Right, so here we see the document that we set up before, and you can see the signature fields. The date field has been automatically populated, which is just what we wanted, and so all we need to do is really add our signature. And we can either uh, type that or upload a file or, in fact, draw something in. So I will, I'll just draw a the signature for any approver and I'll accept and sign. Now obviously that's quite small. Maybe I want to do that again so I can I can clear that out and draw another one uh, and have another go. And when everything's done we can hit the finish button and that'll process the file and generate the signing certificate which is attached to the back of the document. If there are multiple documents then you'll see uh, multiple certificates. So now, as the client, I'm able to download a version of that PDF if I want. 
I can save that for my records. And if I was logged into the client portal, I would be able to see that in the list of the, the previous documents. And you can see that the, the file name on that document has had um, the word signed and the date of the signing amended to it. If we jump back into Carbon, we can see that the e-signature task is now complete. And if we click on the task, we can see that the status has been uh, updated with the viewing of the package, uh, the approval of the package, and that the task has been set to complete. And if we view that, that overlay, we can see that we can now download the file. Uh, it has the signed and the date text appended to the end there of the file name, uh, along with the, the timestamp of when the file was signed. And so this, this would uh, break out each of the recipients and each of the signatories, as well as any, any one that was CC'd in the request as well.